Hey everyone, ArtsQS here, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD Hero Mode. Last time, we defeated Zan in the Palace of Twilight. I did not mean to talk to Medna. We defeated Zan in the Palace of Twilight, and collected the final heart container, collecting all 20 hearts. Oh, and uh, we figured out Ganondorf was the true evil all along, and that he was in Hyrule Castle all along. This and this time, we have already stormed into Hyrule Castle after Mina used her, uh, freaky spider powers. And we're gonna be heading further in. We did not get far last time. We basically just entered the courtyard, looked around a little bit, and defeated the enemies over here. So this time, we're gonna be heading further in. Just like the Palace of Twilight, it is a dungeon. But it does not have as many collectibles as before. And there is no Huku. There's also, I'm about to say nothing, but now we got arrows. I noticed how low we were, so I have Link Amiibo up and ready to go, and I need to move my mic closer to my mouth. Oh god, whoops. Here we go. Ow. Let's see, what's this way? Now you can go the other way. There's two different ways you can go if you look at the map here. Like, there's this right path, but there's also this left path. I'm just gonna go this way first, just because this is how I've always done it back from the Wii version. Because remember, this is the same type map as the Wii version. It's not inverted, weirdly. Got another barrier here. We got quite a few enemies, and unfortunately no access to the Great Spin thanks to losing half a heart. Thanks, game. Real quick, can I just... I wanted to aim. Is this effective? It's kind of effective. Not as effective as I'd like, though. Okay, okay. Oh god, that was an unexpected finisher. There's still no music, which is really eerie. We just got waves of enemies to deal with, with the nice rain ambience. I can't see anything. Right, these guys take a while to uh, take out with uh, arrows. Okay, what else I got in my arsenal? Anything else useful? <laughs> this will be more useful. I like that. <laughs> I was right, it was more useful! <laughs> okay, maybe I should get rid of the iron boots real quick. Uh, boomerang! <laughs> uh, that's just grass, okay. What was behind them? Let's take a look. I really like how a castle looks, by the way. Just, there is so much detail put in this castle. And it, it it's an open dungeon. When was the last time we had an open dungeon that wasn't like City in the Sky? That doesn't count because it it has it has tangible boundaries of air. It, it it's it's weird. This feels different. It's like the F4 Civil Back in Ocarina of Time. How that was like the first dungeon ever to be like really open. Like it had an open air. Like you can see the sky in it. It's really similar. You know, we head forward. Let's see what the sorts of all those enemies were. We have another barrier. I have come to play. Yep, another fight with this dude! And he has a key. Like before, he's really not that hard, but now we even have some better items, I was about to say, but not really, apparently. Wow, he blocks everything, it's just a sword fight, okay. Oh well god! Here's where I forget how to use like half my move. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna I need to check something. I always forget the exact correct way to do uh backslice. Right. Z targeting A B. Okay, I always forget the B. I do Z target A and then A. Yeah, backslice has paired this guy up. 
Like, they really tear this guy up. Can I want to drop? I can. I just need to keep more drawing him. It will. Oh my god. Mortal draw! Mortal draw! Mortal draw! I am abusing the heck out of this one! Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't remember him having that! Maybe I'm just remembering poorly. Ah! Oh my god! What? Well, that's a problem. I was hoping to have a fairy for the final battle. Not gonna lie! What is that smile? No, no, you, you beat the heck out of me. Enough! We... He handed us a small key. Seems like we have a way in. I follow the strongest side. That is all I have ever known. Okay. I guess... We're, I guess he views us as the stronger side now. Link. Hey. He spoke. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, that, that's a weird encounter, and man, I did not expect him to do that much damage. We haven't seen him since the Arbiter's Grounds, and I that was that fight was easy. Well, what was different this time? I mean, to be fair, I did do a lot of damage to him very easily, but just those few hits got rid of my fairy. Oh, excuse me. Oh god, no, I have hiccups. Uh-oh. Wait, that's all there is on this section? Wait a minute, actually, there might be... I'm gonna become a wolf link. Just so you know, it is in your best interest to use Wolf Link right here and turn your senses on occasionally. Now, if there's gonna be anywhere... Hmm, I don't remember exactly where it is. The thing is, I haven't played Hyrule Castle since the very first time I ever played Twilight Princess and finished the game. That is the last time I was here. I've played relatively far through Twilight Princess over the years, but I've never got this far, like, ever since that one time. It's not that I've never been able to get this far again, I've just never... I never got to it. Ah, there's... Well, this is not the senses, but there's this over here. I'm thinking of the senses. I think they're gonna be somewhere else. Unfortunately, hero mode, no hearts! Eh. That really sucks for this place, actually, because this is a very combative place. Think of this as a dry run of what the Cave of Ordeals be like. Shoot! Ah, fine. Well, we've lost that one rupee, but I'm curious what that chest is. Probably a Miiverse step if I had to guess. Whee! We gotta go back around! Hooray! Wasting time! I'm hoping we can get through the bulk of the dungeon this episode, so that way maybe next episode can be the finale. I am not sure if that's gonna happen. Like, I highly doubt that is actually gonna happen, to be honest. I don't want to have any episode cut off weirdly short, though, if I can avoid it. But I also don't want to have an hour-long video. That would... I might have an hour-long video, even if I just open the final boss. Okay, we're done here. Let's head back out. That's one way down. We have a small key, but there's an entire section that is completely unexplored. Let's go up there. So I will say one major plus of this dungeon is that it is right next to Castletown and next to Mallow Mart. So if you need to restock, at least until we go forward, it's just a quick walk outside of town. In fact, I'm probably going to restock before we go inside of Hyrule Castle, to be totally honest. But let's see what's over here first. Got some guys waiting. And we got another barrier and a bird. Hi, bird. That is not the finishing blow! Eh. Yeah, these guys are all over Hyrule Castle currently.
Ow. Hey, why do you wander outside the map? Ah, whoa! I really wish the camera didn't kind of like freak out here. That's kind of weird how it does that. I thought there was a rookie there. Okay. Main here. Nope. Maybe over here? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Ah, right in this area. I might be underestimating how... Or overestimating how long this dungeon is, actually. I will say it's longer than Palace of Twilight, I think. But not by much. It's still vastly shorter than, like, City in the Sky. That was a weird animation. I don't need this. Overkill for the win! I'm actually gonna... Take that off just because... I can't see. I can't see what I'm shooting with it. Like, I can't see past the bomb. These guys are really bulky. Like, arrows don't work on them well in case you didn't somehow figure that out just then. Oh, god, wait. Okay, no, you, you're done. It may be in your best interest to get rid of these barrows. Because I just noticed they're here. Hmm. That seems to work pretty well against those guys. Normal arrows don't work so well. But bomb arrows... Now bomb arrows work pretty well. There's some boars over there. Interesting. Let's head around this wall to where that gap was. Yeah. Over here, yes? Let's, let me put the mini-map back on down here too so I can see where I'm going. Hello, boyfriend! We haven't seen you since Rudder Desert. What? Oh, God. Let's try that again. Four. Four, buddy. Buddy? Okay. Whoa! That uh, link. Boar the boar! Okay, let's head around. Eh, uh. Okay, forget it. Here we... Wow. Can I just... Nope. You gotta use the boar. I just got yeah, point blank bore. Don't hit the wall. I don't remember it being this hard to control. I really don't. Whoa. Okay, that's as far as we need to be. Then get off the board. Then get off the board. Then get off the board. Okay, let's uh, let's get back to our normal arrows just so I can actually shoot and not like waste everything. Let me just get rid of you. Get rid of you. <laughs> Were there any more? Probably, but they're off screen. And looky here, we got another puzzle involving propellers. It's been a while since we've seen one of these. They're arranged in a pattern again to a triangle. And if we look here, we can kind of blow the leaves off the ground here. Let's do a few locks. Man, we haven't done locks. We haven't locked on anything in a long time. Man. Aren't you curious what's on the other side of this wall, Link? There might be a way in. Want to check it out? Hmm. On the other side of this wall, huh? Let's take a look. What? Uh, apparently the Earth wanted us to know, too. It revealed the entrance. Let's check that in a minute, though. First, we see a pattern here in the ground that might help us get beyond this door. So it's top of the Triforce, left, right, and bottom. So top, left, right, and bottom. 
Top. Left. Right. And bottom. And that opens up the gate. I remember getting really stuck in that when I was playing this for the first time. I don't know why. I think I just didn't realize you could blow up the leaves. I thought they were just decoration. Which, I can see why that could stump someone, to be fair. We got the dungeon map! What is up here, though? Let's see, we have a walkway around the castle's edge here. Let's see what's here. We didn't have this on the other side. Rain picked up again. It's weird, it's like only raining in certain spots of the castle. It's really strange, not gonna lie. I guess it's just a quick shortcut to the entrance, but we also have a chest. With a sad Zelda sound. Okay. Sun tells me I now know where they stuck all the face scans. They were in the Palace of Twilight in Hyrule Castle. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's actually check out that area where Mina thought there might be something beyond the wall. So we still have a digging spot over here. Let's dig into it. We have a bit of a spooky graveyard behind the castle, and some platforms here sometime, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. There's definitely platforms. Okay. Let's take a look around. Oh, wait, we got... Oh, we got the little skeletal dudes! Hey, we has been a while since we've seen you! Like, since the Arbiter's Ground. They are not right. <laughs> What's more curious, though, is if we turn our senses on and take a look around, Let's find more castle dudes! Okay, where is it? Oh! Wait a minute. We got more than just skeleton dudes. Let's try to sense this in a minute. First off... You're not a threat. <laughs> now that I figure that you can do that, you're not a threat. Also, real quick, let's just... Can I just replenish my arrows real quick? There we go. Now I have a ridiculous amount of bomb arrows. Hooray! Is that it? We have two statues in here and... Please tell me I have lots of oil. Oh, I can't light it because it's raining. Okay. Well, let's take a look around. If we come over here and turn on our senses... We see what looks to be the ghost of dead Hyrule soldiers just pointing at this mound in the dirt. I don't know if these are like just actually like long since dead soldiers or if they're like soldiers that died when Dan and Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle. I'm really not sure, but they don't seem to be enemy. In fact, they seem to be pointing us right to where we need to be. Unfortunately, it's not a digging spot. Let's try something else. And sure enough, we have a chest. A chest? A switch. Not a chest. Why'd I say chest? Uh, we got some um, special dudes again. Goodbye. You are not you you are not threats to me anymore. What is this? The cursed swordmen, or swordsmen, sleep before the sacred tree. So I take it that's the sacred tree and these cursed swordsmen are the uh, ghosts. What do you have to say? In the land where the rain stops, the statue of time moves. Well, we have an issue with rain and we see our statues from the uh, Temple of Time. That would have been a mistake anyway. Blink, blink, target. There we go. So we got two chests in here. Green! 
Why? But if you ever want to see a model of a green rupee up close, there you go. Red rupee, that's more like it. And a bigger chest. With an orange rupee, wow. Okay. Let's also take out... Oh, we already have a lamp now. There's a uh, urn here, or uh, area where we can scoop up the uh, lantern oil. What is this thing called, actually? It's not an urn, I don't think. It's not a pot either, though. Lighting that makes the rain stop. Let's quickly head over here before the rain, like, tries to start back up or something. Light... And light. We now have access to our two statues. Let's kick the minion rod out. The rain started back up, but it's too late. The door is open. Door opens where specters gaze. Door opens where specters gaze. That's interesting. We couldn't access them until now. Is there more specters around here by any chance? I don't think there are. Yeah, there's those by the trees, which... By the way, they are really creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, door opens where... Ah. Door opens where Spectre's gaze. I get it. Well then, let's move these statues over. And once again, this entire episode, we've not had any music. It's very rare for this game to actually just, well, put it bluntly, shut up for a moment, you know? And we've had it be silent for quite a while. I do like the music in this game, but I, th I think this is perfect for this area, the fact that there is no music. I think it's more fitting than any music they could put here so far. Let's move the other statue. And lo and behold, this is the last time in the game we're using the Dominion Rod, I think. There may be one more kind of time in the cave for deals, but I'm pretty sure this is it. Let's uh, bring a... What, are we, what do we call these guys again? Jerry? No, Jerry was the big statue, right? The big statue with the hammer. I don't remember what we called them. It's been two weeks for me since I last did that. Let's jump on across! Parkour! No one saw that, right? Y'all didn't see anything. Y'all saw nothing. It. And it. Here's the door. Here's a switch. Let's try and pull it open. And we have ourselves another small cave. You've gotten everything you need out here. Now get in the castle through the front door. With that, Minna tells us we indeed have everything. Real quick though, before we actually go in the castle's front door, I'm gonna use this blue potion and since we're in Castle Town, and we have three imp or yeah, two empty bottles. I kind of want to stock up on potion. So, once you get back to the entrance, I'll probably cut. Where was... Where did we dig in? Name up. <laughs> there, there's where we dig in. Well, actually... I did the blue potion thing off screen, because we're getting close to the end of the episode, and we're not going to get far in where we're going up ahead, so I think it's probably fun to just stay in the same, to just go ahead a little and not get the potions off screen, okay? Items, items, what's the item? Uh, why not? <laughs> oh, wait, this is the problem. Oh, and it's another board. Link, don't do that. Here we go again! 
Hard left. Hard. Not that hard left. Not that hard left. Come on. You need, you need a treat? I don't got any apples. Stink breath of the water. I don't have infinite apples. Yay! Oh god. I think I might have just killed the boar by accident. Okay, thanks for. You know, we're done here. We're not fighting them. I will pass. Good sir. And with that, that is everything in the courtyard of Hyrule Castle. Let's head on in the main gate and see what lies before us. Music finally kicks in. I've been walled in again now. I kind of wanted to be silent for a minute and let y'all hear the eerie music. Oh, we got Rizalfos too! How many events have we seen these guys? Ah! That's one way to deal with them! Okay, Link, stop that. Also, I do think hitting the barrier damages you, but don't quote me on that. Helm Splitter, ow. Actually, does it? Oh, it doesn't, okay. Oh, I know, it does if you hit it enough times. Helm Splitter. Anyone else? The lights come on and we can see where we are. Looks like Hyrule Castle's ballroom. Grand entrance. And the chest also appeared for our troubles. <laughs> we have some kind of weird staircase thing here. Let's see if we can't look around and see if we can figure some stuff out. We got a big old room here. And I will let you know, you can hookshot to the bottom of these chandeliers. You can also kind of walk on them too. To an extent. Not how exciting to that one though, it seems. In fact, there's nothing really over here. In that case, let's try and get back on this one. And see if we can't get up there. Nope, it's not happening. Okay. Let's look around some more then. Again, this music is so eerie now. I like, I really do like how they did the music in Hyrule Castle. How outside there's nothing, and inside it's just super eerie and ramping up. This castle is totally empty, by the way. There is no one here except Ganondorf's minions. There are no signs of, like, any other form of life. It is completely empty. It's super eerie, especially when you remember that this is right next to Castle Town. This big bustling city that I assume still thinks everything is perfectly fine in Hyrule Castle. You know? Anyway, we got ourselves to Compass Link. Stop that. Let's see if there's anything else. We have more hookshot points to get to now. We have a door there. However, we've pretty much hit time and we're at the entrance, more or less. So I think I'm going to end this episode here, go to up with some blue potions off screen, and next time we will meet back here to hopefully finish the climb of Power Castle. I don't think next episode will be the finale, I'm afraid, but the episode after that will for sure be. Our next episode may be kind of short because of that though, but I don't want to make like a two hour long episode of us climbing up Power Castle. Unless I make it up startlingly fast. 
Next episode might be a little shorter. But either way, thank you all for watching. I've been Archie West, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!